Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing an emergency letter associated with a Thai visa extension. So for those who are unaware, and I suspect that's virtually no one watching this channel, the coronavirus outbreak, also known as COVID-19, this outbreak has resulted in a lot of disruption of the travel industry, just a lot of disruption around the world generally, and unfortunately it's also taking lives. This is just a, an unfortunate situation all around. But that being stated, there are those who are essentially, for lack of a better term, sort of trapped in Thailand. They were either tourists or they're living here, and their visas are going into sort of a state of flux, and they need to deal with it. The, in a recent article from, excuse me, Phuket News, and that is thephuketnews.com, the article is titled, Phuket Immigration Confirms 500 Baht a Day Overstay Fines Are Being Levied. And I'm not going to go into that specific issue, but the further in here, they quoted a Deputy Chief Lieutenant Colonel Udom Tong Chin as saying, everything is up to the Immigration Bureau in Bangkok. Quoting further, Lieutenant Colonel Udom urged foreigners needing to stay in Thailand or unable to travel home to obtain a letter from their embassy requesting the Thai Immigration Bureau to allow them to extend their stay in the country. If the foreigner cannot obtain such a letter, Phuket Immigration were unable to help them, he said. If a foreigner's permit to stay is about to expire and they cannot get a letter from their embassy, or their embassy refuses to issue them a letter, we have no regulation that can help them. So that's where it stands with Thai Immigration. So what is this letter? Well, I'm going to go ahead. We had a client who needed to get one of these. We're going to redact this and throw this thing up on screen for you. This is a letter from the American Citizen Services section of the U.S. Embassy here in Bangkok. And I do want to give tip of the hat to the U.S. Embassy staff. The folks over at American Citizen Services were really efficient in getting this letter back out. We explained to them that this needed to be done quickly, and we got it back, and I'm not kidding on this, we got that back within two hours. In fact, it might have even been, if I recall correctly, within an hour. So they're on it. The folks that are working there, I, I suspect they're probably working overtime to get American citizens sorted down there. The, um, I think other embassies are providing similar services. If you're not an American, the same regulations apply to you, but how things work over at your embassy, it's gonna be slightly different. In this situation, it's American Citizen Services that's assisting with these kind of letters. I'm just gonna go ahead and read this real quick just so people know what it says. Well, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna paraphrase it somewhat, but it's basically, it's, it's addressed to the Thai Immigration Bureau, and, and they basically say, we wish to refer to the unique global transportation restriction caused by the pandemic COVID-19, its effect on US citizens who arrived in the Royal, Royal Kingdom of Thailand as temporary visitors after the outbreak began. In addition, we wish to refer to the global level four health advisory issued by Department of State which advises U.S. citizens to avoid all international travel. The Embassy of the United States requests these special circumstances be considered for U.S. citizens who arrived in Thailand as tourists and who have now been advised to either arrange for immediate return to the United States or prepare to remain abroad for an indefinite period. In particular, we re respectfully request these circumstances be considered when U.S. citizens in such circumstances apply for temporary extensions of stay from the Immigration Bureau of the Royal Thai Police. So basically, it's just a polite request. Can you please assist our nationals while they are in your country? And to the best of my knowledge, immigration is being accommodating to that. These are extenuating circumstances. They're not looking to be unduly difficult. Now, that being stated, if one can't get one of these letters, or there are certain circumstances that you know, make these letters not useful for one's particular circumstances, maybe a good idea to contact a legal professional. The other thing is there may be folks that simply, and I, I say this with, the, with an abundance of caution, so 
let me be clear. It is best to maintain your lawful status in Thailand. That being stated, there just may be folks who for whatever reason are just gonna fall out of status during this. For those who are unaware of how this is gonna work, yeah, you may be stuck with overstay fines, there may be ramifications for this. We have another video on this channel, should be coming out shortly, specifically on the issue of continuing overstay in Thailand, pursuant to this and the fines and stuff associated therewith. But look, at the end of the day, it may just be what it is and you've gotta deal with that. However, those who can contact their embassy and get a letter similar to this, or for Americans, likely to get a letter that's basically verbatim what, what this letter says, although issued to that person specifically, I'd urge them to do that sooner rather than later. I do know the embassy's starting to get something of a backlog of this, so the sooner you go ahead and try and get this letter and get your status regularized, it's likely a better option than trying to wait around until the last minute.